Apple cider vinegar for weight loss? Myth or miracle? Keep watching. There are plenty of people talking about apple cider vinegar and weight loss. One side claims that it's a miracle cure, the other one claims that it's complete bull. I'm actually here to set the record straight, but in order to tell the story and give you guys the facts, I need to talk about glucose levels and sugar spikes or glucose spikes. Now, many people think in order to be sensitive to insulin, you have to have type two diabetes, but that is simply not true. Your glucose levels can actually rise and lower all throughout the day. This can depend on your hormones. It could depend on some type of condition. It can also depend on the type of foods that you're eating and even the order of the way you eat your foods. Now, during this time of a sugar or glucose spike, what happens is that it causes inflammation in your body. During this time, we now know that this limits your ability to effectively burn fat. Why does this matter? Well, if you're having glucose spikes all throughout the day, this can actually make your body less effective at burning body fat. Now let's talk about where apple cider vinegar comes into play. Now there are numerous studies that show consuming a small tablespoon or two of apple cider vinegar either before or after a meal, usually around the 20 minute time frame, has actually been known to reduce glucose spikes and sometimes even eliminate a glucose spike altogether. Now this is by no means a miracle, but there is actually some truth to why people are talking about apple cider vinegar and fat loss. Now this doesn't take the place of eating a healthy diet. You still need to be in a calorie deficit. You still need to make sure that you're getting enough protein, that you're getting fibrous rich foods that are gonna be feeding your gut bacteria and also getting whole food sources and limiting or even completely omitting ultra processed foods. I hope that clears up some of the confusion on apple cider vinegar and fat loss. And remember that knowledge is power, so the more educated you are, the better of a decision you can make.